Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation to learn all about our Divi Divider Module. So the Divider Module is an excellent way to add extra space, a straight line or style of line across a certain section or area of your website. Um, it's just a really useful tool to have in your arsenal and that's why we've included it as a module. So we'll show you how to set it up, add it to a page, and of course, style it in some interesting and fun ways. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give an overview of Divi's divider module. The divider module is perfect for creating those horizontal line rules or some custom vertical spacing for your web page. In general, it's just a great way to add structure and organization to your website. And adding these lines and spacing elements are really easy using the divider module in the Divi Builder. Let's go ahead and get started and take a closer look at the divider module. In this page section here, where I am showcasing some product features, I'm using the divider module in a couple of ways. First way is to establish some division between my headers and my sections, and also to add a decorative element here, just to let the user know that this is a header. And uh, I've used it on multiple areas of the page as well. there above this header, above this header, and so on. So it adds some consistency um, to your headers and it's a good way to keep the page sections divided. The other way I'm using it is simply to divide my product features with this little piece of text right here. And you can see that little thin gray line right there. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the settings of these two divider modules to show you exactly how they work. Now that I have my visual builder enabled, I'm gonna hover over my divider module here and I'm going to click on module settings. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of these settings uh, together under the content tab. The first option I have is to decide whether or not I want to show my divider or not. Another way to look at it is, do I want to see the line or do I not want to see the line? Um, since I do want to see the line in this case, I'm going to select yes. Right under here, you could choose to add a background to your divider area here. And if I were to do it on this particular divider, um, it's going to show color right behind my line and it's going to fill the entire area there uh, just to show you in my design tab under my sizing you can see that the reason why my divider is so small and the reason why my background is limited here is because it's going to be limited to whatever I set for the sizing here Right now the height is set to 20 pixels. So that's how high my background is here. And the width is set to a custom width of only 50 pixels. And it's given a module alignment of centered. That is why we have such a small divider here. The divider weight is then your, the width of the line. So, for now, let's go back and I'm gonna take out my background. Let's go back to our design tab. At the top here, you have the option of changing the color of your line. And I have it set to this pink to match the page design. You could also choose to have a different style divider Right now I'm choosing a solid line, but you could choose dash, dotted, or any of these options here. Right now the divider position is vertically centered, but if I wanted to, I can position the line to go to the top of this divider area or the bottom. I'm gonna keep it vertically centered. And let's continue on. We already went over our sizing elements here. So let's go on to our spacing. 
The spacing can add some additional margins or padding to your divider module if you want to. But I think in most cases, the sizing options will be able to take care of your spacing. You could also add a box shadow to your divider if you choose, or some animation. And in the advanced tab, you always have the option of adding some unique CSS IDs and classes to this module to target um, it from an external style sheet if you want. Also add some inline custom CSS to any of the elements of your module, as well as choose to disable this divider on phone, tablet, or desktop displays. And let's take a closer look at the second divider here. I'm going to click on my settings. And as you can see, I am showing my divider in this case. I don't have a background set. And my color is a very light gray. And this is really the beauty of the divider module. It can add these little bitty divider elements that, you know, they may not seem like a big deal, but they actually make a big difference in the overall organization and look of your page. The uh, style is, of course, a solid line, and um, the position is towards the top here. And in this case, um, I've given it some more height to add some more division between my content. Let's go ahead and save this one. And let's say I wanted to add um, some, you know, more spacing between any of these elements. It's really easy to do with the divider module. Um, let's say I want, you know, some custom spacing between my title and my content below my title here. I could, of course, use, you know, some padding or margins to do this as well. But sometimes it makes uh, more sense to use a divider because sometimes it's just easier. If you go to your add new module, search for your divider here, and go ahead and select it. As you can see, the default is not to show my divider. And it's already kind of given me some spacing. Let's see what it has what is uh, the default setting here. If I go to my spacing, excuse me, my sizing here, you see that by default, the height is gonna be 23 pixels. So right out of the box, it's gonna add 23 pixels of vertical space here. If I wanted some more space, I could have, of course, just increased that to whatever I need it to be. And that's your overview of Divi's Divider Module.